Absolutely, it's not how you start, Kev, it's how you finish, isn't it? And they have finished better than anyone. They're the form team in this competition, and they're going as favourites tonight, I look to. Here we go. So here we go, wide pass straight away. Can he get over the line? No, he can't. Three York defenders bring him down. But they're knocking on the door, Flanagan to Lilly, further it wide, he goes to Gaskell's numbers here, Holmes over the top, into the hands of the winger on that far side, Blackmore will score, referee oh, forward, got. forward pass, referee and touch judge, That's in communication, it was, the numbers were there, Kev, was that a missed opportunity, should they have scored, they did, but the referees bring it back for a forward pass. Yeah, I think they should have scored, I think it's just purely execution from Tom Holmes, he blows the ball, the ball forward. Right, isn't it, because if Tom Holmes takes that pass, there is an opportunity there, but it's missed out, and Thompson, who's worked for it, got that error, forced that error, he's tackled one to the middle of the stick, sets the platform, jump at dummy half, Harris springs to his left-hand side, goes out the back, Harris straightens up, throws one dummy, and then goes at the line, he's to the line, he's over the line, can he get the ball down? No, he can't, and he's forced back into the field of play, jumps at dummy half, he's going to run out, throws the dummy, jump for the line, he can he get over it again? Like Just weights of numbers, Matonga and Wallace, are in there to stop throwing Flanagan to add his weight, but York, this time he comes to Brown, Brown, can he get the pass away? He can, and that's got to be forward, and I'm again... for the offside, Doc, penalty again. So Harris, nine metres away from the post, should be two points, quality goal kicker, two steps back through the routine, two points it is. First points go the way of the York Knights. Carl, two points to nil their lead. Don't think he wanted that one, though, as he lost his foot in and then was blasted by Batari and Lilly. But again, York just keep coming. Akuma Tai close to the line, can he? Barge his way over. No, he can't. Batari again and Lawrence this time bring him down. Job. Short pass. D's trying to burst his way over. He's to the line. Has he got it down? D thinks he has. The referee is going to go to the big screen. The big decision here is it going to be a try? Is it going to be no try? We wait for the decision. He's gone try on field referee Tom Grant. Let's go over to the video referee Aaron Moore and let's him talk us through what's happened here. So it's tackle four and we've got an on field decision of a try. We're just looking at the grounding. Have we any other angles there, please? I think that's what Jesse D does really well, doesn't he? When he goes in at half, carries the ball, still waiting for the referee's decision, but well, he's given a try on the field, Kev. And you'd imagine with the evidence that we see here, we've only really seen two angles, but have the we other side angles, that would show us. So that's all the angles we're getting, yeah? We've got to okay. stick with the on-field decision. Based on the angles I've received, I've never made a decision. The guy to give decision. this is the photographer, Kev. I think he's got <laughs> the best view of it of everybody, hasn't he? Yeah, okay. He'll be able to tell us whether the ball had, ball's down or not. So we're still looking. We're still looking for this decision to be made. Here we go. And the tries decision. I think that is. We couldn't. We couldn't controversial. See him. Controversial for sure. You know the intensity of these carry. From field and from Thompson throwing Jub round the ankles. Flanagan's at dummy half. Wide it goes to Lily. Lily with the crash. Short pass and on the crash comes Doro. Doro's held up millimetres away from the line. Sorry, it was Apo, not Doro. Now they'll come back to Rogers. Rogers stretches out. Has he got the ball down? The referee's going to the line. He's got to give the try. Rogers does barge over. And knock, knock, knock it at the door. Final day finds the way over. And it's Rogers with the try. It's Bradford 4, York 8. Yeah, Fenton Rogers there. Just getting in between Thompson and Job. Again, another barge over try in this contest. The message is simple, just work hard and you can rewind it all the way back to Tom Holmes' break, that tip on from Tafua, the disconnect in the kick chase on that left edge, set them in this field position, couple of penalties, and Fenton Rogers, well, he just says thank you very much. Three or four metres away from that line where Thompson makes the tackle. Wide pass, it goes back to Lilly. Lilly then short pass to the substitute, Doro, and again, it's these substitutes that are making all the impact for Bradford, 
Again, Flanagan, the old man dictating it, dummy half, gets the pass away to Apple on the he's charge, the and he's in. Apple's in, back-to-back -back tries from the Bulls. Too big, too strong, too fast. Bradford were behind, they're now in front. They lead by 10 points to 8. And, it, and we mentioned before, whoever wants the game the most tonight will win the game. Well, Kevin Apple wanted it more than anyone in this stadium. When he gets the ball, there's no doubt in his mind that he's going to run over the top of Jordan Thompson, and that is not an easy thing to do. He just pins his ear back, very similar to the Jesse D try. He gets the ball and just steamrolls through two, three defenders and scores the try just next to the post. And what a costly couple of minutes this has been for the York Knights. It's the three balls off the bench, isn't it? In Apple, Rogers, and Doro once again changing the course of this contest. The field will, will hang on, but it's a quick play of the ball. Gaskell on the front foot, drifts across and gets the pass away to Doro. Oh, Doro on the charge, gets the offload up in support at the middle of the field. Is it Blackmore's going to skin over and use the momentum to get the ball? Tom Holmes gets the try under the post like any good fullback, sniffing around up the middle. But again, it was just the power of the run from Doro in support of the middle of the field. And Bradford get the first points in the second half and increase their lead. It's Bradford 16, York 8. Yeah, absolute sucker blow there for, for the York Knights. He's gone straight through Fitzsimmons and the backup play by Jordan Lilly and his partner in crime, the fullback. Tom Holmes, real smart, gets low, gets down early. But it's the crash ball, he just runs too hard for the, for the York Knights. And then that's a great bit of skill card to finish off the try. Yeah, it certainly is. It's always good to see, isn't it? Supporting play and it's the drop off there and the run from Doro, that right arm offload, Lilly in support, and like all good fullbacks do, just keep pushing through the centre of the field. Charge up and running on that 32nd minute, he's only millimetres short, Flanagan again is a dummy half. Gaskell's round the back, the pass isn't the best, but Gaskell picks it up to Lilly, Lilly straightens up, drops the shoulder, can he offload the ball? He does offload the ball, Bradford are over the line, but the referee's going to see it's a forward pass, and... Well, he's made really. one up there, hasn't yeah, he, Paulie Paul, uh. Absolutely, Kev, I was just about to say, he was the, the guilty party for that penalty, but he makes up well here. And we just see when Gaskell, quick release of that ball, Lily takes the line on, it's the big fella's effort there. Just to deny the threat, the ball comes out. Super play there from Paulie Paulie. 16, absolutely, that's game over as Gaskell floats oh, the ball over the ball. The referee said it's forward. The referee says it's forward, Blackmore scores in the corner. I'd like to see that one again. He was very quick to call it, Doc, so he was obviously 100% confident that that was the case, whether it was him or the touch judge. And the ball here just comes out the back, and Gaskell just floats it over the top there, and that looks look OK on that angle, doesn't it? But obviously those guys in, in the green jumpers down there, the officials, they've got a much better view than us, so maybe this one perhaps. Well, yeah, on that evidence, it looks like it does go forward, I think. I've got to say, the referee's in a great spot. Defensively to make the tackle, Apo's at dummy half, a metre away from the line. What have Bradford got in the locker? Have York got enough energy? Apo tries to pinch one, Apo's over the line. Has he got the ball down? Does it matter? The referee's going to give a penalty. Take the two, surely, Kev Brown. Yeah, I think so. Knock it over to, you know, two clear scores and kicks. And it brings the drop ball in as well, I think all night when it's around the post like this just got to knock the points over yeah, well, he's far too far experienced to to do that to george flanagan just that little push there again another pointless action you're just going to invite him to blow his whistle give penalty away and that two points there from lily takes the scoreboard at 20 points to eight and two clear tries it's going to be difficult for York now. Absolutely. Setting that platform. Does Lily go and play earlier this time and give himself some more space? Here goes Lawrence. Lawrence links in with Gaskell. Gaskell flat pass and that's a high shot. So we take the one out the equation. Danny Kermel, it was with the tackle. I think it was on Wallace. So it should be another two points, Kev Brown. Yeah, and I'm sure it will be. There's a, you know, a great kicker in Jordan Lily who will fancy his chances. I'm sure that's too high. Yeah, great career, Danny Kermon. There's Lilly. Looks to add the two points, does add the two points. 22 points to 80. Can't be anywhere back now for York, can they, Kev? The dying embers of this one. Not long left now. There's Jobbett dummy half. 
to Harris. There goes the hooter up the middle of the field. He's going to try. Harris is going to kick the ball to the right hand side. What's the bounce of the ball like? Is he going to get to into that corner? No, it's not. Kieran Gill wraps up the ball. That's going to be the full time whistle. Bradford charge on. They will carry on to next week. And Kemp sum them up. They've been really good and deserved the win. They've been terrific. They wanted it more, they ran harder, they tackled harder, and they deserved everything they got from this game. They'll have to replicate this and probably even go one step better and, and do a bit more with the ball if they want to progress in the next round with, against Toulouse. But tonight and last week, they've been terrific, and Lee Greenwood will be very, very happy with his side.